Midwesterners might be familiar with these wart-like bumps found on hackberry leaves, but what are they? And are they problematic for our trees? Well, here with the dirt on the hackberry nipple gall, horticulture educator Ryan Pancott is back. So Tim wanted to see how many times I said nipple during this interview. <laughs> so there's twice, just in case you were wondering. But what in the world are we talking about? Well, we're talking about these little bumps on hackberry leaves, and I actually get a lot of calls about these every year. They're um, really common. Ha hackberry trees in general are really common in our area, and most all of them have these these galls every year on their leaves. Um, and this is actually upside down. We're looking at yes. it from the underside. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me a little bit about how you came to be the even research these. Well, so this, I, I got a little interested in this particular insect with a, from a conversation with my son earlier this summer. Uh, we were getting ready to go to a Little League game, and he picked up a hackberry leaf. You know, I was packing our van. These are the hackberries go. right here. Yeah, those are little hackberries. Um, and he said, Daddy, what are these bug eggs? And I was actually really impressed that the little guy, he's five, would think that that could be a bug egg. And I said, well, actually, that's... You know, there's an insect larva in there, but the plant made that structure. It's called a gall. And he said, oh, so the plant made the bug egg, you know? And, yes. and I had to say, well, you're right, you know, that the <laughs> plant did make that little bug egg. It kind of functions like an egg. And so uh, we got in the car to go to the game, and I explained all the biology behind it. I'm sure both of my sons heard far more they want, than they wanted to hear about <laughs> trees and insects and things. But um, at one point, you know, I was explaining it to him as, you know, I've always viewed it from the tree's perspective, and these are, you know, the trees trying to wall off this bad it bug that's, you know, um, you know, feeding off its leaves and causing problems. And, and my son said, but, Daddy, the bugs need a home, too. Well, yeah, they you do. You know, and, and it really kind of made something click for me, you know, that, hey, I've always thought about it from the tree perspective that this bugs you know infesting doing something their wrong. leaves yeah look at, making the leaves look bad but hey honestly this bug needs a home and it's it's a native insect it's part of our you know central Illinois ecosystem that we live in and really um, in actuality it's not a very harmful thing for the tree um, you know we really don't even recommend control of it it just kind of looks ugly for the growing season. well so, yeah so you're saying um, right now there's little bugs there are little inside bugs in there. these leaves this mm -hmm. kind of like hibernating kind well of? actually feeding they're they're larvae that feed off the sap of the leaves and they will um, eventually emerge this fall as adults and then um, pretty much what the adults do is find a spot to overwinter and then emerge in the spring to uh, lay eggs. But the adults are just tiny, tiny insects, um, huh. really small. They, they actually can fit through some window screens. Oh, wow. Uh, but if they come into your house, it's, it's not that big of a deal because they probably won't be able to overwinter in your home. It's not a suitable location. But some folks see them on window screens in the fall and ask what those are. And but, people call in um, wondering how we get rid of these, what are these, and you just mm -hmm. tell them, just let it be. It's not yeah. going to do anything damaging. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt your tree. I mean, it's just part of that, you know, the ecosystem that we live in here in Central Illinois. It, it happens every year on every ha on almost every hackberry. Um, and, yeah, it, it doesn't look wonderful. It's not an ornamental thing. But, you, <laughs> you know, there, honestly, it, it would be really hard to even control for them if you tried to because there are so many leaves on a mature hackberry and to get... You know, a pesticide or whatever it might be on all those leaves would be right. a real challenge. So it's not negative impacting on the tree or on us as humans. No. Yeah, really, really a harmless, just um, an unsightly leaf is the, the worst thing that you get from the hackberry <laughs> nipple ball. So. There was three, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, so th the advantages of being um, the son of, of a horticultural expert, yep. your sons are very lucky. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, if, people, if people do have questions, though, about things in their gardens mm -hmm. or things that they're noticing in their yard, the U of I Extension is a great resource. Yeah, we are. We actually run what's called a horticulture hotline service out of our Champaign office here where folks can uh, call in and ask questions um, and we answer those the master gardeners um, are there not not 40 hours a week but <laughs> during business hours master gardeners on a voluntary basis man the horticulture hotline and we answer questions about hackberry nipple galls and tomato plants and anything that you guys can think yeah. of so, well th yeah. that's interesting I honestly had never um, thought about what those were on the leaves but now you know. Ryan, thanks so much. If you need more information, we'll connect you to the UI, U of I Extension's website you're seeing right there over on CILiving.tv. Go check it out.